<clears throat> hey, what's up, broski? Breaking news, Jeffrey Epstein uh, has committed suicide in a Manhattan jail. So this guy was on suicide watch, right? 24-7, round the clock, cameras on him, you know what I mean? Being recorded, being monitored. Uh, this guy had uh, all eyes on him, you know, and said somehow he was able to get away with committing suicide. From what I'm hearing, this guy went to, uh, into cardiac arrest, so he may have swallowed some kind of a pill, you know. But broski, we all know the truth. This is complete and utter bullshit. This guy had a lot of information on the Clintons. What else? This guy had a lot of, of damaging information on... <clears throat> These upper level globalists, Broski. So Alex Jones was right again. Was right again, excuse me. You know? This guy, Jeffrey Epstein, he rode the, the Lolita Express. He had his own personal plane, and supposedly, supposedly, him and Bill Clinton would uh, ride this plane and have sex with underage girls up in the air, you know? Overseas and shit like this, over, over international waters. So yeah, Broski, this guy didn't commit suicide. This guy was murdered by some special ops agents, you know. All they had to do was pay off a couple guards here and there. Hey, you know, give this guy something. Don't worry, we got you covered. Here's a million bucks for you, a million here and there. Don't worry, it's untraceable. Bada bing, bada boom. Bro, there's many fucking ways this could have gone. But I don't believe for one goddamn second this guy committed suicide, okay? So there you go, Broski. All right. <clears throat> Once again, the Clinton crime ring wins again. Cause let me tell you something, bro. Bill Clinton, especially, he was getting ready to be exposed, and that cuntillery. Later, fuck the Clintons.